Hi there, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will talk about NASA examining technology to fold aircraft wings in flight. Before starting the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. NASA has successfully applied a new technology in flight that allows aircraft to fold their wings to different angles while in the air. The recent flight series, which took place at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in California, was a part of the SpanWise Adaptive Wing Project, or SAW. This project aims to validate the use of cutting-edge, lightweight materials to be able to fold the outer portions of aircraft wings and their control surfaces to optimal angles in flight. SAW, which is a joint effort between Armstrong, NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, or GRC, Langley Research Center in Virginia, Boeing Research and Technology in St. Louis and Seattle, and Area I Incorporated in Kennesaw, Georgia. This may produce multiple flight benefits to aircraft in the future, both subsonic and supersonic. Folding wings in flight is an innovation that has been studied using aircraft in the past, including the North American XB-70 Valkyrie in the 1960s. However, the ability to fold wings in flight has always been dependent on heavy and bulky conventional motors and hydraulic systems, which can be cumbersome to the aircraft. The SAW project intends to obtain a wide spectrum of aerodynamic benefits in flight by folding wings through the use of an innovative, lightweight material called shape memory alloy. This material is built into an actuator on the aircraft, which plays a vital role in moving parts on the airplane, where it has the ability to fold the outer portion of an aircraft's wings in flight without the strain of a heavy hydraulic system. Systems with this new technology may weigh up to 80% less than traditional systems. The recent series of flight tests at Armstrong successfully demonstrated the material's application and use by folding the wings between 0 and 70 degrees up and down in flight. There's a lot of benefits in folding the wingtips downward to sort of ride the wave in supersonic flight, including reducing drag. This may result in more efficient supersonic flight. SAW principal investigator Matt Moholt said, Through this effort, we may be able to enable the element to the next generation of supersonic flight. Not only to reduce drag, but also increase performance as you transition from subsonic to supersonic speeds. This is made possible using shape memory alloy. The shape memory alloy is triggered by temperature and works by using thermal memory in a tube to function as an actuator. Upon being heated, the alloy would activate a twisting motion in the tubes, which ultimately moves the outer portion up or down. NASA Glenn, which developed the initial alloy material, worked closely with Boeing to be able to use the alloy with an actuator in flight. NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland developed the alloy material and worked with Boeing Research and Technology to integrate the material into an actuator. The alloy is triggered by temperature to move the outer portions of the wing up or down in flight. The ability to fold wings to the ideal position of various flight conditions may produce several aerodynamic benefits for both subsonic and supersonic aircraft. Including a pair of system safety check flights, the SAW test flights were conducted over a two-day period. PTERA took off from the Rogers Dry Lake at Edwards Air Force Base with its wing at a level zero-degree deflection. The testbed was flown in a large racetrack pattern, providing long legs of flight in which the necessary maneuvers for the research could be done. During these maneuvers, onboard controllers heated and cooled the saw actuators, folding the panels to different angles between 0 and 70 degrees. For the first two flights, the wings were rigged to fold downward, while later flights featured rearranging the hardware to achieve 70 degree upward deflection. Wing folding maneuvers were achieved in flight within three minutes each. Follow on SAW flights were planned for as early as summer 2018 that will expand the functionality of the SAW system to be able to fold the wings 70 degrees both up and down in a single flight. Tests are also expected to take place at Glenn, where engineers are working to scale up the technology flown on PTERA to be used on the wing of an F 18. We put the SAW technology through a real flight environment. And these flights not only prove that we can fly with this technology, but they validated how we went about integrating it," commented Moholt. We will use the data from these flights to continue to approve upon the actuation system, 
including speed and smoothness of actually folding the wings. And we'll apply them as we get ready to fly again in 2018. SAW is an effort within NASA's Convergent Aeronautics Solutions Project, under the agency's Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate. That's it, the end of the video. I hope you liked this video, and please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos.